Hey, what's up everyone? It's Rich. All right. Welcome to the drawing part of the video today. <laughs> you, if you haven't watched it yet, I highly, highly recommend that you check out the video on uh, the results of me drawing the animals out of my head. Um, it's an incredibly important part of everything that we're building up here. And I want it to give you confidence and, and a little bit of encouragement to try that yourself. I really put myself on the line for that video. I had no idea what the results were gonna be. No matter what I was gonna post it, I'm not someone that can, I don't consider myself like an animal artist. Uh, I've never drawn those animals before. I didn't cheat and take a peek at them before I did it. I literally just came up with two animals that I thought would be interesting to draw. I tried to draw them out of my head. And uh, like I said, check out the results, comparing it to real animal anatomy and uh, see how I did. So anyway, um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take some of that information and we're gonna try to put it into some monster drawings. So let's see, we're gonna try to come up with some kind of hybrid humanoid, um, uh, let's see, you know what I think I'll do is, the elephant's head was very interesting. Uh, when com comparing it to the book, I noticed a few things, so. It went a lot higher than I thought. So, said so we're trying to draw monsters, so ultimately this guy will hopefully look a little bit creepy. Profiles are always easier to do because you don't need to match up stuff. It's also a little bit faster. I'm not doing it because it's easier because I could just as easily do a front view. But there's things with the, um, the elephant's anatomy that I think play up. Um, the ears actually s kind of start up here. Which is interesting, which is, uh, I didn't actually ever see him. Okay, so let's try this. Let's give him, like, a pretty good eye socket. And then I want to have... I wonder if... Give him, like, some kind of double horn. Maybe that would look more creepy. You know, we're just going to try stuff and see what we can come up with. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know if I like that. I think, you know, was well, the one thing I can tell you that was like, it was bugging my eye was because I had, I had done this suggestion of like a, it, I wasn't going to stop the nose there, but because I had that line there, it was, it was looking weird to me like a pig snout, which I didn't find attractive. So let me do this right out of the gate. I'm going to have something coming off of the animal's face. I was almost thinking, well, I don't want to get into bio mechanoid stuff yet, but I was almost thinking it could be like some sort of a, sorry, I had the pencil in my mouth, um, uh, like some kind of a pipe that came off of the animal's head, like, uh, kind of Giger, Giger-esque. You could have, like, some things that wrap around the... something and I, I honestly I mean this is just riffing I, I don't expect any of these monster drawings to be like keepers or anything like that but it's more I have all the wires that would go like there <clears throat> let's see get that kind of hump. That was the one thing that I had neglected with um, my uh, hopefully I've got myself in frame. And again, for people that watch these videos, try this stuff. I'm telling you. 
I mentioned that that. Um, Oh, hold on. So the, the foot was actually really interesting. It actually had like four prongs. I'm going to kind of do more of the skeleton of it first. Because there was a... Um, when we looked at the book, there was... A, a skeletal version of what their foot looked like. And it was interesting. It was very... Like it had kind of an alligator feel to it, which I thought was kind of curious. frame. <laughs> if not, I'm, I apologize. Almost got like a Cthulhu type vibe to it. I think is give him some creepy fingernails. Let's see here. I wonder. And sometimes, if you're having trouble working on one side of the body, try the other side and see if that gets you where you're going because I, I on the um I had done that small sort of sil or not silhouette but I did the side view of the rhino kind of in this part of the paper on that one thing and drawing its back legs helped me remember almost the whole body it was very weird how it happened but um yeah that like opened the door to a bunch of other shapes that I was struggling with approaching it from a certain angle so it's sometimes worth your while like like this ear just help me draw this here because even this is going away and it's foreshortened and the whole nine yards um but i couldn't from here i was having trouble getting to here once i did that then i all of a sudden could feel the alternate shape that would help me get to here so you never know this is something that I'm just sort of learning um, n now, like, uh, I don't mean this second, but but it's, uh, you know what, it, honestly, doing these videos, though, actually has sort of brought that into light. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty interesting that we have those crazy lashes. I can't really, this ear is a little too high, or well, or this one's too low, and then the head is kind of... I'm going to get my darker pencil and just kind of try to get a silhouette down. And again, you know, these these all may suck. It's not a big deal. It's just, it's more about... going to look at this. I'm, I'm holding it up to the window right now. Okay, it's actually not too bad off. This is a little low as well. Oh, wait, hold on. Sorry. I'm holding it up to a window, and I'm looking at it in reverse. I'm looking through the back of the paper at sort of the, um, and you could do this in Photoshop by, uh, just flipping the canvas. It's 
it's not that worried about doing a pretty drawing right now. It's just trying to play with this structure that we've just learned. And um, this needs to start a little lower based on what I remember. You know what? I'm actually I'm gonna have it come up. Let's see. I like that better. Let me flip it again. It's sometimes, yeah, that looks right. Uh, you know what? The angle of the horn is going in weird direction. So I need to. I think that'll be more. All right. I'll grab my eraser real quick. It's funny, I have this electric eraser, but what's funny about them is it's like, it's always at the very end of the eraser, uh, like, the little refill thing is always, like, almost gone whenever I use it. I never remember the times when it's full. I'll erase this. Again, hopefully I'm in frame. Right. So, let's see here. So, if I can give him a little bit of, like, some sort of mech, maybe this like wraps around here, and then like maybe he is the victim of some sort of crazy experiment. So he's got this like I would normally go in and probably put these closer together, but just for time's sake, I'm not gonna sit and draw three hundred like little um. <laughs> <laughs> what if we call like rivets in the the trunk? It would just take too long. So th there's a, a dumbed down version of it, and then like I always laugh about this, but my phone just tried to update, so now I have to edit the video because it it stops the video when it does it. It's lame. I refuse to update my phone though on it because their updates just suck and always change stuff that works. It's how they annoy you into buying a new phone, basically. But we all know that. Actually, it's pretty funny. Some of those companies get in trouble for the stuff that they do. Um, I can maybe, uh, it would be kind of interesting if it was... Uh, let's see, I'll put a little bit of the pipe coming around on this side, too. Okay, so then his other horn... I'm gonna check this the window real quick. To see, yeah, that works. It's funny. I don't like it looking at it right now the way that I am. I kind of have the, the phone is in front of my face. It's it's a little hard to kind of picture exactly what I see when I'm doing this. But two th well, a third of my eye line is um, the phone sitting in front of my face. So I can't really see the full piece. I have to kind of step back. Actually, it kind of looks. Cool. I mean, it's not like something I would put in a book personally, but um, I mean, just uh, he's got the again big hump on the back. That was the one thing that I had missed in my original drawing. kind of taking some liberties with his, his hands, but it is a monster drawing, so might as well have some fun with it and kind of... But I'm going to give him four fingers because that was sort of the, anatomically speaking, more accurate to... Uh... Alright, so let's see. feels very 90s to me with all the <laughs> this stuff I'm like these are my go-to monster sort of accessories back in the day um, 
So anyway, let's... Uh, I don't want to spend too much time on this one, but... Let me see, I'm going to flip it out so I can see what it looks like. Okay, he's very... Uh, I don't know. Let's finish the head really fast. I don't think he's a keeper, but... <laughs> actually, no. I'm kind of wanting more of these things wrapped around it. We could actually have maybe a few going some different ways. Maybe he's got some like bolts or something that sort of attach the. Attach it to his nose. You could even have like some sort of plate that sort of sits on his forehead. Something that kind of goes back over his. His head, like some kind of armor or something. And, oh, you know, you could even have maybe like the maybe his skin sort of does hang down and has that sort of weird like elephant texture stuff going on. There's that, just for fun. And again, we haven't even really worked with these animals. That's the amazing thing is, I mean, how much time have we even devoted into learning an elephant? 15 minutes, you know? I mean, most of it was just spent actually just kind of trying to pull stuff from our head. So, okay, so let me try a rhino guy now. Just do it here. I need to show my pencil a bit. Actually, you know what? I'm going to pause it. I want to take just like a five-minute break just to let my, my uh, adrenaline levels drop a little bit so I'm in the chill zone. Okay, I'm back. I didn't even really take that long of a break. It was probably two minutes. I just needed to, like, I didn't want to go from one thing to the next that fast just so that I don't regurgitate what I just did. Um, I'm still kind of thinking on this, though. I'm, like, going, like... What's funny, too, is, I mean, I'm... Uh, I think, like, Black Sad is a pretty good, like, animal-driven character, comic book. The guy's just a really, really great artist, but it's... If I was going to have animals in my um, drawings and stuff like that, I think generally, although I would probably give them character, I'm not sure that I would turn them into humanoid characters. So, who knows? Never say never, but, you know what I mean? Like, I don't really see, like, a myself ever like going like I need like that elephant human guy <laughs> so you know you have to figure out what inspires you to to um to to draw to you know like what what are you gonna what's what has like a sense of appeal to you in terms of that but again this was just an exercise that I made up some may really really connect with you and some may not and then, uh, you know, you just never know. Again, it's just always, like, the side view I've always felt is a nice way to get um, familiar with something. Um, it just... Uh, you're able to deal with most of the elements in a, in a way that... Uh,
interesting because it's going to be problematic for his mouth unless I wonder can I drop his mouth down here? Or maybe I could I've been dying to do those big like tusk teeth that look kind of more of like a hippo has <laughs> why? I don't even know Maybe I've got, maybe I have a, like a secret obsession with hippos. That'd be weird. <laughs> Is this thing on? I'm gonna make sure I'm recording. That wasn't a comedian joke. But I don't know, this may be too low. weird but you know i mean the thing with with coming up with some original monster ideas is i mean you you actually i would encourage you to try to do things that maybe you haven't seen because just you know pulling up gears of war reference and then trying to riff off what they did i mean you're basically just going to regurgitate um you know s stuff that's already been done which is i mean really kind of at the point of trying to come up with with a monster design i don't think I think your best bet is to try to get something down that's working, and then if you have a spot where it's not working, then kind of like, um, you know, departmentalize it a little bit where you're like, okay, so. Oh, okay, that's this. This is a tooth. Kind of one of those, and then his nose comes way down. Oh, it's been so long since I've drawn a neck. <laughs> All right, you've got the horn that comes out uh, here. And then you've got another big horn that comes out here. Which is completely bizarre. Doesn't seem to make sense. Okay, then this drops to under here. And he's got the big kind of tusk tooth that comes out there. And I think proportionally speaking though, I could actually force this into something that actually looks pretty cool.
it's got the tusk teeth. That's kind of freaky looking. Uh, I, like I said, I could definitely, if I spent some time with this, actually come up with something pretty cool based on this. It's just, this, it's got a few, a few kind of oddities going on right now, but, um, you know, maybe like if he had something kind of going on like this, it sort of, it starts to make it look more disturbing, like maybe some teeth on the outside and he could even have a few other horns on him or maybe he's got some kind of a, like, nah, I don't like that. Um, you can tell sometimes real fast and this is where like, like doing something, I guess, uh, digitally, you know, you, you, you can try things and have like layers and whatnot. Um, but, uh. I do like to, I just like to have the stuff on paper for a, for a few different reasons, but look, when you, when you start getting really good, everything that you do is kind of important. I mean, it's, it sounds weird, but there's a point of interest to it all. And it's like, I had some people asking about, um, or they had mentioned like, oh, sometimes artists are notorious for like throwing away things. They're actually pretty cool. But they don't think they're cool because they, uh, you know, they drew them and it's like, it wasn't to their standard or whatnot. Um, and, um, uh, you know, that's all true, and uh, I used to do a lot of stuff like this on backs, like have a sort of like these uh, spinal appendages that would come out of the backs, it can always look kind of interesting, sort of make them smaller as they go up, maybe. Monsters are always fun to draw, like you said, they're, they're so forgiving, just because, uh, I'll set his eyes in a little bit more, and actually if I kind of do that... A different angle a little bit, but uh, you know. Anyway, you get the idea. So you can take animals and start to kind of force them into monsters, and it's not a huge deal. And I would suggest trying to be as creative and sort of um, unorthodox as possible with it, because w like this looks weird, but ultimately it probably could be worked into something interesting. But if you're if you're um, uh, what do you call it? Like if, if you're um, tentative or just, you know, kind of like conservative was the word I was looking for. If you're conservative uh, right out of the gate or you're trying to copy something that's already been done, you're really probably not going to come up with anything too unique. Um, and, and uh, you know, like I said, if you if you have an area that's problematic after you try it a few times, then you can, you know, go like, ah, you know, this is kind of drifting in a direction like Silent Hill or whatever it is. And then you, um, you know, then you can cross-reference it and go like, oh, okay, like for their monster with the weird head, they like kind of have the jaw like attached in this different spot. And all of a sudden you plug that into your original drawing that actually looks pretty original based on some weird choices that you made. And um, it, all of a sudden it works and it doesn't look like a derivative thing from, from the original piece. So anyway, um, you know, maybe this guy has actually got those like weird like cloven... Um, fingers like like what what do you want are you mad at the outdoors i got two cats creeping up on me but yeah maybe he has like really creepy like man that that the design from was it pan's labyrinth that creepy dude that held his eyes i think that was pan's labyrinth maybe i'm off but um You know, maybe he's got, like, weird fingers like that. That's just very disturbing to me because it's like, stop. Um, I don't know. Just, like, hands like that are really, really weird. I mean, who knows? Maybe this guy does have eyeballs in his hands. That'd be kind of cool. Although, obviously, like, that's, it's too, probably too much of a riff of, off of the other thing. And he maybe he has no eye. Like, he has no eye and his, and his eyes are there. Who knows? Maybe he has eyes, like, I don't know, he could actually have extra sets of eyes that drift up the head. Happy little eyes. <laughs> no, I don't really like the eyes up there, but anyway, he said, just give stuff a shot. It's monsters. You know you want to draw monsters. Okay, so, let's see. Well, I'm trying to think. What was those? Like, oh, see, and he could have, again, that creepy, um, that creepy skin, the um, the the kind of like rhino rhino textured skin. I'm trying to think what were some other rhino 
characteristics. Oh, the armor. Okay, so let's see something here really quick. What the, how long are we? 18 minutes. I can go a couple more minutes. All right, so I have this guy like pretty hunched over. Like he's like like cuz both the um elephant and the the rhino are pretty hunched over, so we'll say like Keep it in the hands. Kitty, stop making noise while I'm doing the video. Um, okay, so let's get the ear. Um, so, oh, it was the armor. That I was like, I was like, what was I even like? But maybe he has. Although, this guy ended up looking kind of different than the original thing, but. Maybe he has some type of armored thing. I don't know. It doesn't really work, I think, with the design. Um, I'm telling you, this one cat talks all the time. It's, it's not an exaggeration. This cat tortures me all day. Oh, it's got a toy. It's playing with the Easter egg. All right, yeah, so this doesn't work. I don't like it already. I can tell it's just, this This is too detailed. It's too organic. It's too sort of musculature and bone-based to, to bulk him out with a... <laughs> I live in insanity, I'm telling you. Rich gets no rest. No rest for the Richards. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, it's too conflicting. It's like big bulky stuff with, with um, more detail. So I'm giving this thumbs down. All right, anyway, you get the idea. All right, smash the like. I hope that that was somewhat interesting. And again, play with your play with your animal anatomy and then see if you can come up with some unusual and, and creepy monster stuff, all right? Okay, bye.